How else up, y'all? It's popping in. Steve Boss Records is Jubilee Vid. This is six black men versus one secret white guy. Hmm. Hmm. Let's watch. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. <laughs> So now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask: Are there any other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't. But my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to he's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. He named drops uh, anyone else? Uh... Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, and Rosebud is actually my street name. My street name. My real name's Riley. My name Rosebud? is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, 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 I do, I do. You can't even see what you're talking about, yeah, you know? that, 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 I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on you. I wasn't even that. Funny. Can we all say what we want? <laughs> I got a uh, skeleton, all red, varsity jacket, cargo oh, pants on the crazy. side. What's up? We match it right now. I'm not wearing a skeleton fit, but I got like... This is also hard because there are some people who have a heavy black scent, some white people who have a heavy black scent and, you know, you can't tell. I thought Jack Harlow was black for the longest and I was very surprised when I saw him. Um, and then I reacted to the, uh, what are those white twins? Those ghetto twins that I react to over here. Fuck. Harlow? No, that's Jack Harlow. <laughs> I forgot, them niggas. That I react to them and they have heavy black uh, accents. So, you, you, this is hard. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess they can go based on like their black experiences. So that's how they're trying to, you know, narrow it down, of course. Right I wish I could dap you up right now. But Wait, what type of forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force one with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. Yeah. Right. Oh, I see where you're going. You said I didn't say half black, half white. Black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. My strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here? Get knows crazy. what the smell of a hot comb on the head. It stink. It stink real bad. What are some no, prominent don't. songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Band. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and. His vocal inflection, but it just it kind of it made, made me think of you know straight out of Compton in the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up on classic rock with my mom. They're not gonna get it. He he he's well uh, informed. <laughs> I mean, I grew up on Motown from my dad's side, so anytime you know he's summer vacation training. in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Tell them sit your ass down. One person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we know where, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm gonna start with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing. Why are guys doing it at the same time? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Me growing up half black, half white, there's certain songs that they sang that I honestly didn't know word by word what to what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? I don't know. The fuck? Nigga, everybody don't watch that every day like you. It's a famous line, yo. I got enough. I ain't gonna have I ain't know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. <laughs> Complete this song. Uh that boy got Stretch pants. Stretch pants. <laughs> what is that? I, that I got one, I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook your room, yeah. Me and my mom whipping it up. Mm -hmm. that food is I was listening. Their questions are stupid because everybody's just been in and talking at one time. How do you know who's not answering? Or who's not just jumping on the bandwagon? So intently on, on voices. Terrible. Have you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? Terrible you tell some black person on the other side. So you throw out little hints. You know why you're talking? I'm like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, he would. Who, who, who said that? 
Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. Yeah, that's true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple. Yeah, if you're kind of if you're aware <laughs> also of like meme culture, you'll know some of this too. We go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that. Which Those is are really said. popular. Wait, meme. wait, but hold on. Why is that it's crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch just grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape, Kool Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. You're trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors say stop. <laughs> in the summers, it was either if you outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, why not running in the running up, up in the side of your house, you know? So, y'all y'all feel that? Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let that good air out. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off the rip? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh. I'm gonna say, uh, 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 she's been so far. She was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pika. Or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Yeah, you taking forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther. Who is the queen? You feel me? Uh, yeah, I know her name, but she got to know her. I know her name. You gotta know her. I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. The old girl from a different world. Mm. Growing up, watching my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from. That runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyrus from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> Tyrus. Tom Model is not a 90s. Appreciate you. He said the great. <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. <laughs> When it comes to being black men, microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the day. For, for, for the diversity, right? I'm like, they only 5%. I got to give them credit, though, because like finding us is going to be a little bit tough, but like they, they find a way regardless. I ain't never going to lie. Like, I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't never get that far. My college and nothing like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like, you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be a grown you're man? A black guy. Yeah. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game, you walk down the street, right? And a white folks see you, the first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird or they face. They're in space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch the purse. Yeah. Yeah. Clutch like, the bag. Like, take like, the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that. Hella room in the elevator, so. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me, like, Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Yeah, we So we already know, like, <laughs> I am my brother's part. keeper, and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man. I watched the uh, the first Power Ranger movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah, Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, Yo, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, facts, facts. Hard is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You watch anime? Uh, what, you, what you like? What you like? I got Dragon Ball Z. Y'all, Naruto. Oh, black dude. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh no. No, that was good. Hey. hey. Let's watch a Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shot, though. Come on. I was literally just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Superhero. Static shot. I met his voice actor, bro. He was you like, did? Feel my dude is called dope, bro. Like, he voices every single black, every single black, every. And Sam Oh, Jack. I like him. He's, He's got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Right? I got y'all like this. <laughs> Even if you want, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Yeah, you be like. But, uh, okay. So, mm, why does that bother you? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating, I can't even I, see my him. first girlfriend. She ended up being. Uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey, man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff. And, like, he would, he would never say it, but I, I knew, like, the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff, so he kind of had, like, the hesitance mm -hmm. for, like, those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members, like, say, hey, like, 
I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already, like, in her late 50s, so okay. she wasn't playing with none of that. Really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but... I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh, shoot, like, you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever, too, but, like, I appreciate the sister, like, because she understands me, and I don't have to explain myself. We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional, like, upbringing as far as, like, dating um, a lot of different people because I'm a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. I'm black, yeah. Robert, I go by Rob, I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much that's school, and that's that's pretty that, much it. No, you trying too hard. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged. And I really wanted to struggle. Hearing some of the things he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. It looks like we are tied again. Wow. What? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm i just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where you could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to that's get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking. I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, Just because his accent is so And he so definitely heavy. sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. There are white people. people there. But there so, are some. You see, you, you, you're, not, <laughs> you're not familiar, brother. There are some, and there are a lot of Mexicans, too, who sound like that. I'm going to say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a fact, Rob Black. You yeah. sound like people from around my way. So, no offense to you, brother. But you gotta kick rocks. <laughs> I, I like heard him his voice too, though. Like, you ever that's watch it, man. I heard him both. Yeah, I hear it, yeah. sure. But Rob, like, I feel like I can say certain things to Rob and yeah, yeah. pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like the it's other. Really yeah. You know, I no, think it's because he's gay. Like, that's why they don't relate. <laughs> I'm not saying they're being homophobic or it's it's conscious. I'm just saying that's probably why they're not relating. But they're trying to associate that with him being he must be white then. No, it's just because he's gay, that's why you're not related. <laughs> Maybe they're not making that connection. I'm confused because five, I'm thinking number five? Is that what what's happening? I don't know. Take me away. Take me away. Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. Stop I feel that a lot of times I felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. They can't the wrong. It's still in the box, and you want to continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Right what are you here? doing? What are you doing? I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. Really, I already said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Yeah. All right. So let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like 
black people could be like doing better than, or like a hot take mm -hmm. about like black people and you know our community and stuff like that since mm -hmm. the beginning of that's very smart because he's gonna tiptoe around that the u.s um with the obvious mistreatment of black nigger. people <laughs> a lot of information pertaining to I'm being sure able to further us as a people has been withheld from us and more so recently the information has been normalized to be pushed out and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gay they don't get him with these deeper questions all that stuff so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people and i think that's dope but i also think that people need to really be on their p's and q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information the more our situation continues to remain the same financially even though we spend some of the most money in the u.s it never stays within the black community the gang yeah. banging yeah, that yeah, gotta I'll stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging, uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, outside or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get so caught and I gotta go to prison around. and get along with the people who I just slid on, it's, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. So it's just, it's, They're like, mm. that's, that's the first thing. Gotta He's go. not really Don't critiquing. Be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma. And uh, nothing against like the school or anything that people is around, but I feel like the ideas and uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his uh, you know early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open minded to new possibilities, opportunities. Like I'm open minded to it and try to figure out what works for us. You know, this might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain, and I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something. Like there's just so much more to us than like you know the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we mm -hmm. talk about things. Like I think there's just so much more to the black community than that. I want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yeah, like, Come on, I talk about it. Or like, criminals, or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters. Yeah. 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 Well, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places, like that's all they see of us. You feel me? Yeah. Word. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna be real. I think we're all good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm slow. <laughs> they're saying the names, but they're just putting their hand up to vote. But because you know what's so funny? <laughs> I saw a TikTok about this. <laughs> I got to show you how my TikTok. But because sometimes when dudes raise their hand, they'll go like this, or, or they'll go like this. So I thought they were going like one, two, five, five. That's why I, one time I was like, oh, five out of here, because some of them were actually doing this, but some of them were doing this. <laughs> You know, like, nigga, raise your hand and I would have caught on. But y'all doing that little, that stupid shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I get it now. Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there, okay? If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time? The guy right next to you is the one. Three, two, I'm like, I knew it, I knew one. It, it is red. With the red. That means the mole is still here. He knew it initially. You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who pulled, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby. I got out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like, grown, grown. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. 
Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier for us more just to belong? Like, nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, juvenile hall, yeah. every party. Every just and yeah. your whole family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black woman, they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost mm -hmm. um lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, low key, like the youngest one. Wow. What is a misconception people have about black men? Person is in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic <laughs> as black like people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We right. all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. Period. Yeah, I knew they were going to be uh, fooled because his accent is so heavy. He has such a heavy South Central accent, so they were blinded by that for sure. But if they would have dug a bit deeper and asked more questions about the black experience and how we struggle and the stuff we go through, if they would have kept you know, poking at that, they would have been like, hmm, hmm. Because even when they asked about... Uh, you know, what's a, a critique for black people. He didn't really get into that. He just said, oh, gang banging. Because, you know, when you go to jail, it's like this with the other. Like, he started talking about his, his experience in jail because he's been in jail. <laughs> but he didn't really, like, focus on how black people can actually improve. So that should have been a red flag for them. But, you know, whatever. Uh, they, they did their best. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.